removal. Slide the battery release latch towards the battery icon to disengage the battery from the base enclosure. Remove the battery by lifting it out of the battery bay. Replaceable. Loosen the one captive P1 Phillips head screw identified with the memory, wireless, and keyboard icons that secures the memory door to the base enclosure. Lift the memory door and remove it. Replacement. Remove the one 5mm P1 Phillips head screw identified with the keyboard icon that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Using a probe tool, gently press into the opening identified with a keyboard icon until the keyboard releases from the top cover. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Using your finger or a flat bladed non marring tool, gently lift up on the rear edge of the keyboard to disengage the keyboard from the top. Keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Turn the keyboard face down on the top cover. Important, do not lift the keyboard further away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar of the keyboard ZIF connector and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard. Replacement. Place the keyboard face down on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Turn the keyboard over and tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover. Press the keyboard flat until it engages with the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the one 5mm P1 Phillips head screw identified with a keyboard icon that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Tow the tabs of the memory door into the base enclosure. Press the memory door down until it snaps into place. Tighten the one captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the memory door to the base enclosure. Lower the rear edge of the battery into the battery bay. Lower the front edge of the battery until it clicks into place.